Hey everyone, Crystal here, and we are doing a soap this morning. And you know what, you guys? I always do milk soaps. I mean, I just love the way milk soaps feel. But I have forgotten what a regular soap feels like. Like, you know, just regular uh, water and aloe. So, I'm going to do a regular soap today, but I'm not going to steer all the way away from my milks. I do have a little bit of heavy cream here. And I've only got about an ounce per pound of oils. So this is a five pound batch, but I've only got three and a half pounds worth of oils in it. The rest is the lye. So I've got three and a half ounces of heavy whipping cream. So we're going to try our hand at a regular soap. Um, I just want to see, you know, how it feels. I've not done one in forever. And I just want to, you know, just see what it's like and if it's better than my milk soaps, which I, I, if I remember correctly, my milk soaps are a lot better when I do half milk and half aloe and water. But I'm going to give this one a try just to see, you know, what it's like, just to have something different, I guess. And the colors we're going to have today, oh, and the name of this soap, I've named it Twisted Winterberry. And it's my own scent blend, and it smells really good. And the colors we're going to do today is we got a Harold's Purple Crown from Mad Oils. We've got a Neon Purple from Nurture Soap. We've got a mix of a couple blues. Um, this is from Mad Oils and Nurture Soap. It's about three different blues in there. And then I was up in the air if I should do turquoise or yellow. So I decided to do turquoise, but I don't know who it's from because it's in my little jar that I've got. Alright guys, so my Kaolin clay, my oatmeal, and all that is in my um, oils already. I'm going to go ahead and put this heavy cream in. And since it's just heavy cream, I'm going to go ahead and put the lye in too. Since there's no, my additives aren't in here or anything. Usually I put my additives in my milk, hydrate them, and it's easier to blend. But this is just a little bit of cream, so set that to the side and we're going to go ahead and add our um, lye. Now my lye's got aloe in it and it's got sodium lactate, sodium lactate, silk and salt. So I am trying my hand at a little bit of salt. I've not used salt before in my soaps. I'm going to see if it helps harden it a little bit better. Um, it's not too much. It's just a teaspoon per pound of oils is what I've done. Alright, let's rinse this out. And I've got my blue sitting over here if this blue isn't the color that I want it to be. So hopefully we get a nice blue color. I right, want to get we'll go ahead and mix this up. My stick blender should be coming soon. It's been about a week since I ordered it. Thank gosh I had an order on my website or else I wouldn't have been able to get it. Because I can't afford to get it right now. But I had an order and somebody ordered some soap. So I was lucky and was able to get my stick blender. Oh my gosh, did you see what I just did? Wow. I just flung soap everywhere. Alright, let me get a paper towel. <laughs> with me and spilling soap here lately and that was a lot of soap. Goodness gracious, Crystal. Alright, that looks good and emulsified. I want to put the stupid cord in there. Alright guys, we got everything measured out. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my white in there. Let's 
So let's get our fragrance going. I hope this doesn't speed up on me because this is my own scent blend. Oh yeah, it's a pretty blue. It's a little green though. I don't that's a nice turquoise color. See how we're doing here. We're thickening up a little bit, but hey, nothing too major, I don't think. Look how pretty that turquoise turned out. I mean, look how pretty that blue is. Very pretty. Beautiful. Alright, guys, let me get my mold. We'll start with some white and make sure you guys can see. Alright. We're gonna put up just a little bit in. Oh yeah, this is still real good and fluid. That's really good for a for one that I uh, mixed together myself. All right, guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stripe it down the middle. So there's one color, and I'm going to put this one. We're going to do a hanger swirl too. So this purple on top of that blue. And then we're going to go the other way on the side with this color. And the turquoise here. So I can see here. this in the middle. Save the rest of that for the top. And this on top of that. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This one over here. And then you take that off. This one over. Hmm, I wonder how that's going to end up. That is going to end up pretty. And then, of course, white. And that end is a little bit fuller than this end. Start in the middle, and I'm going to go this way and start in the middle. 
and then up that way. Hmm, I wonder how that's going to look. That is going to be pretty, I bet. All right. Okay. So there's the white. And I dropped my spatula and it's clear down in there. So I think I want to do a swirl on the top. A um, Taiwan swirl, I think it's called. So I'm just going to go and stripe it. I've not done that kind of swirl in a while. So I went to my cousin's yesterday and we had a birthday party slash memorial service for my aunt that passed away a couple months ago. We never really got to have a memorial for her when she died. We, she got cremated. But um, so yesterday was her birthday. So we just threw a birthday party for her and a slash memorial service. It was awesome. We had some great food and family and it was a really good time. I, I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, and everybody actually got along. Oh my gosh, and guess what happened? So the cops show up. They're like, oh, what is this? And we're at my cousin Frankie's house, which it's her mom is the one that passed away. My Aunt Debbie. And uh, she goes, this is a memorial for my mama. And I'm wondering why in the heck you're here. Oh, we're looking for John something. And he's like, is he here? And we're like, no, we don't even know who that is. And we seen him sitting there across the street from us. Um when the party first started and um they're like oh well i need to check the house to see if this john guy is there here and we're like he is not here we don't even know who that is and he's like well i need to check the house anyway so my cousin lets him in the house and he looks around and he's like oh okay well he's not here have a nice day and you know they were just wanting to break up see what was going on there was a lot of people there um there was no drinking or anything like that now my my family is something else let me tell you but uh frankie's like no drinking allowed because my uh, i have a, a lot of family members that like to drink that's why I kind of stay away from them. But um, they're like, nobody's drinking. So that was really good. Because that would have not been pretty if somebody was there drinking. And then somebody getting a fight. I could just see it now. But I had a really good time. And I pulled my teenager out of school to go to it. I know. But it was, you know, she was real close with my aunt too. And she wanted to be there. And I didn't mind her being there. Let's do white in the middle, shall we? So I didn't mind her being there. So she got to be there. And she got to be around family. And I don't get along with my biological mother. Um, there's reasons why. And I'm not going to go into that. But let's just say she's not a very good person. And she was there, but I kept my distance from her. I mean, of course, I let the kids see her. I mean, I'm not that cruel of a person. I'm not going to say, no, you can't talk to my kids. Even though that she's not allowed to see my kids. We were at the memorial, so, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and tell her, no, she can't see my kids. And the only ones that was there was my oldest, which is in high school, and then my youngest. And Elena don't even know her. That's my youngest's name. She don't even know her. So she wouldn't go to her because she's really shy like that. If she don't know you, she won't go to you. But um, my oldest, you know, she got to talk to her and stuff. Which I didn't mind, but 
So she gives my daughter a laptop and I know she wasn't planning on giving it to her because she's got all of her personal information on it. And I'm like, no, she don't need it. And then, of course, Elissa threw a fit. Why, Mama? That she's going to give it to me. So I let her have it. And she got my daughter's hopes up, said she had an iPod for her and all kinds of crap, which really pissed me off. Excuse my language. But knowing she's not going to see her again. But she's like, oh, I've got an iPod for you and you're going to love my new house. And getting her hopes up, saying she can come see her, knowing that I won't ever let my kids go over there. And you guys, there is a, a reason, and it's a good reason why I don't let her see my kids or myself. I'm not going to go into that reason, but just know that I am protecting my children. So, but she got her hopes up, saying she was going to give her an iPod, and and uh, saying she's going to come spend time with her. And I'm like, hold up. I said, you can talk to them. I don't care if you talk to my kids, but we're not coming over there. I don't want to know where you live. And... Stop getting my daughter's hopes up, which I didn't say that. I didn't want to start no trouble there because it was my aunt's memorial. But I felt like saying it. You know, she shouldn't be promising her stuff. And I don't know. But it kind of made me mad. But I just let it go. Just let it go. Alright, got one more color to do. But the good thing is, is we had a good time. We, uh, everybody, my cousin went and got balloons and helium balloons. And we all wrote a message with marker to my aunt on the balloon. And, you know, I told her I missed her and I loved her. And I wrote my kids' names down, the ones that wasn't there. And I, I wrote Elissa and Elena's down too. And me and Michael's, which is my husband. My husband's name's Michael. And I wrote all our names down and said, I love you, I miss you, you know, I'll get to see you in heaven one day. And uh, everybody went in the backyard and we all went around saying, you know, something about my aunt and, you know, whether it be she was there for you, you know, how she was, how close you were, how much you miss her, whatever. So we all went around in a bigger, now there's a lot of people there, so it took a minute, and it was hot. And uh, we all went around and said something, and then we all, we said, one, two, three, go, and we just let the balloons go. And we just sat there and watched them. I got video of it. On my camera. So I was happy about that. All right, guys, let me clean up my mess a little bit here. I got soap everywhere but I had a nice time more of the story I had a nice time my daughter had a nice time everything was groovy all right guys so let's go ahead and get this done so I think I don't know if I want to go diagonal or up and down I think I'm going to go diagonal and then we'll go back the other way well this is kind of up and down and there's some silk on there. It's been forever since I've done a top like this. I forgot how pretty it is. So let's turn it around and do it the other way. Get some pretty swirls going. Alright guys, ooh no, piece of dry soap, get out of there, thank you. Alright, so I'm not going to put, yeah, let's put some glitter. I'm like yeah, let's go ahead and put just a light dusting, and the fan's blowing, so 
just that very light dusting of glitter there we go all right guys so here is my twisted winter berry i think it's pretty awesome pretty top all right guys so we are going to put this to bed and then we'll give her a cut tomorrow so stay tuned for the cut guys and we are back to cut twisted winter berry and here is what it looks like very pretty that side's pretty it's still just a little soft but not too soft to cut I don't think I'm hoping not so let's go ahead and get our wire tightened up all right and let's get it in piece okay that's a little different so let's see what we got in here there's that side not much to see Ooh, that's pretty it's going over the side just a little bit right there but yeah see how tacky that is it might be a little bit too soft to cut yet I don't know I'll have to cut a couple of the bars I just took it out of its mold oh isn't that some pretty swirls we did this differently I've never done this type of pour before but isn't that gorgeous and there's the top this is absolutely gorgeous you guys I'm gonna have to try that pour a little bit more often I did you know uh, some some colors in the middle then I did colors on one along one side of the mold going down the other side of the mold and ooh, look at that now that's gorgeous and I did I just rotated colors going down the middle and down each side and then we used the hanger tool to kind of give it a little bit of a swirl and look at that that is gorgeous oh I love it I think it's perfect and I love the top I haven't done that type of top in a while I used to do it all the time I don't remember what it's called a mantra swirl or a Taiwan swirl something along those lines there's another pretty one gorgeous now, I like the teal if you can see right there there's a darker color I think that's the blue and then up against the teal right there but look at those gorgeous swirls oh wow I love this one I really do like this one that one's a little skinny I didn't put it all the way towards the top but I can cut that one into samples but look at those swirls you guys oh my goodness gorgeous I'm definitely gonna have to try that swirl again that is so pretty and oh it smells so good it, this twi twisted winter berry is just perfect it's got um, I, I mixed together a couple fragrances to get this one of them was the winterberry fragrance from rustic essentials look that is so pretty I just can't get over how pretty this soap turned out to be I think it's gorgeous I am beyond happy with it uh, but one of the fragrances that I used was um, winterberry by uh, rustic essentials and then I added some other stuff to it and I think it complements it very well it smells divine perfect winter scent I know these aren't really winter colors but I think they went good together with the neon purple then the regular purple and the blue and teal or turquoise not teal but turquoise and the pour was something I've never done before either I was like hmm how am I gonna pour this soap I'm like I'm tired of just pouring it in there and then giving it a swirl that's what I always do I wanted to do something kind of different 
so I just kind of went with the flow of things and started pouring in different places and this is what I've got and it's turned out gorgeous what do you guys think do you like it I like it and it smells really 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 good it reminds me of a perfect winter scent and I just can't get over the swirls on this. Whoever gets this, you're definitely going to love it. I can't stop smelling it. It just smells that good. Pretty. You know, sometimes I struggle with design ideas. Like, I don't know how I want to design them. And then, then just ideas just pop up in my head, like, especially at night when I'm laying down, a lot of my design ideas come from that, and dreams. Sometimes I dream of making a soap a certain way, and then I have to make it with just the colors come to me, the swirls come to me, isn't that gorgeous, beautiful. Alright guys, so this was the making and cutting of my Twisted Winterberry. Let me undo my thing there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you liked the video, give me a big old thumbs up, and comment down below. I love it when you guys comment. Um, I have a hot process soap that is unthawing, it's been in the freezer. I always gel, well I don't gel and I don't prevent gel on my cold process soaps. But I would say that most of my cold process soaps gel. But my hot process soaps I put in the freezer. I learned my lesson with putting cold process soaps in the freezer. That was a disaster that I will never do again. But I do put my hot process in the freezer. And it just makes it to where I can cut it um, sooner. So it's on my counter and thawing. And I've done something i never done before. I did, uh, I took cured cold process soaps that smelt really good and had bright colors. And I cut them up into little cubes and I put them inside my hot process. And I cannot wait till I cut it to see what it looks like. I'm excited. Alright guys, so until the next video, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.